In this video, primary election two, let's create some column charts for the Republican candidates. We had Cruz, Kasich, and Trump, all Republicans, and for the same counties that we dealt with there in the first video, where we uh, made some column charts for the Democrats. So here I'm going to have you make three different charts, and I've got those listed right down here at the bottom of the screen. And so those will be uh, Glenn, Modoc, and Sierra. Lassen, Nevada, Placer, Plumas, Sisky, and Tehama will be chart two, and then Butte and Shasta. And I split these up based on the actual number of votes. Those, those small counties, then medium-sized counties, and then the larger counties within congressional district number one. And so I'll just go through the first chart and then let you go ahead and finish the rest of those. So the first one we want to do Glenn, Modoc, and Sierra, just like we did uh, the first time for the Democrats. And so what we'll do is select, starting with Ted Cruz, Glenn County, and Modoc County, and Sierra County. There they are for John Kasich, and then for Trump. Insert, chart, column, and there is our graph. Go ahead and give it title, similar to what we did here, and if you want to start a abbreviating when you move this chart you can do that too but well, can't give it the same name as Glenn Modoc and Sierra but what you could do is call it we could call it GMS Republican you could do that if you want to come up with some abbreviations just so you'll be able to get back to them and know which ones you're talking about and so there it is and then, of course, now I haven't done any work here. You need to go in and put your titles in. You need to go through and identify your series information by uh, selecting data, just like we did with all these other charts, all of this information here. You need to do all of that. And then a little bit later on after we create these, then we can go in and do some analysis. And this one right here is a good example of what we can look at as far as telling a story about what's going on here. And so... In this particular county right here, clearly there's a preference for one of these candidates. And so we are going to talk more about that uh, after we get more of these charts completed and do some more analysis of what is happening within Congressional District 1. So go ahead and finish these charts right here for the Republicans. Get a chart for Glen Modoc and Sierra County and then for these six counties here and then for the other two here. And so that'll conclude uh, the assignment here for primary election video number two.